Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. A lot of hedge funds are not putting up cash for their AMC short positions. They're putting up bonds, they're putting up tech stocks. You're your safe, quote unquote. Safety trades. Your safety tech stocks like an Apple, I believe, is very much collateral sized in these AMC short positions or for these AMC short positions. Based off of how these numbers do, you could see a lot more fear again in the markets, which could continue to feed into that collateral crisis narrative. And that's something I will be watching for very closely here in the week ahead. Let's switch gears again back to AMC and talk about some of these FTD numbers as well. Get you guys caught up to speed with what they will be looking at. So for tomorrow, for we're looking at April 24th, you got about 1.8 million fits that do come due, and then you got 1 million fits that come due on the 25th, on April 25th. That's going to be when we get a new update from the courts. And you're going to get a dramatic move in AMC stock. Be fully prepared for that very dramatic move. Now Wednesday, 1.6 million fits come due Thursday, 1.2 million fits come due. And then on Friday, you have 3 million fits that do also come due. So it's going to be quite a bit of failure to deliver activity, and there's no surprise you're seeing a lot of failure to deliver activity over the last couple of weeks. Look at where the data is. Look at where the short interest is. I mean, it makes a lot of sense, right? Which in all reality, should you have VATs with AMC? No, but there's a lot of activity in AMC, so it's not a huge shocker that we do now. If we get into an actual price prediction and look at key levels with AMC stock. Now AMC is in a clear and obvious uptrend ever since you did kind of wick down and this was on April 4th when you kind of fell quite a bit right here, you know, 23.5%. It says pretty rough day overall. You instantly bounce straight back and you've been in this uptrend. You've been finding a lot of resistance around that 50 and 100 day moving average and I do expect that to be the case heading into Tuesday. Now, Tuesday is going to be that big moment. Now, I don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. You got to look at Monday. If tomorrow is bullish, then I think that's a pretty good indication that someone somewhere knows something, and you might get a very bullish Tuesday as well. If Monday is deep in red territory, let's say you fall down to like $4.60 per share, then I would be a little bit more negative heading into Tuesday. But as of right now, it looks pretty dang bullish. You can see just an overall uptrend from here. And I think if we were to get bad news, you're probably going to hang out in this range. You're probably going to see a pretty substantial red day on Monday. So that's the number one thing that I'm going to be watching out for now on a best case scenario kind of basis. Right. I think it's very well possible that AMC stock could rally. Call it 50% on Tuesday. Call it another 25% give or take, throughout the rest of the week, because you're going to have some ups. You're going to have some downs likely, or it just starts the most. But I don't want to get too crazy in the realms of possibility, but that is a possibility as well. Let's just call it a 75% rally is kind of the best case scenario here. That would put the stock at almost $9 per share. That would be a very good week. Keep in mind, when margin calls actually happen, you usually have around 3 days to 3 to 5 days. Hedge funds can get preferred kind of preference. Right. The failure to deliver is all the other bullish things you know. Playing into AMC in the case Tuesday goes well. Not a lot of the float will actually have to be covered to get you a pretty big rally. So I think even next week or not this upcoming week, but the week after that would be very bullish as well if you see a bullish reaction after Tuesday. Now, my base case scenario. So let me know what is your best case, base case, worst case scenario for this upcoming week. Thank you guys for watching. Again, thank you guys for being positive, respectful down below in the comment section. I literally cannot thank you guys enough.